spent the entire day putting together a talk for my students about drawing and anatomy. It's quite important to, to get them engaged with the whole subject because it's too easy to gain a few tricks in your life about drawing and then stick to those and then never really learn the basics of, of drawing. So that's what we're going to be doing this week. too early I tend to get bogged down with eyes and noses and all that kind of stuff and I wanted to use this as, a, as the model for a little drawing and maybe show how you know how to start this kind of thing without getting bogged down with detail and then so I mean do you want to come a little bit closer because I'm just going to draw in pencil we worked out what we think he's doing and, um, and why he's doing it take the shoulders and the hips so we've got a line there for the shoulders and another line there for the hips. So contraposto going in a different different route. So it's also about getting the thing in the on the page properly. So we know how big it is. So you know that pretty much the pubic bone is going to be fairly central to the thing. It's going to be about halfway. If you use that as a, a, a rule of thumb, what it does is it gives you something to compare. The, the model too. So if you're looking at somebody and you think actually that it's not like that legs are longer or the torso is longer or whatever, at least you've got a measure to say right well that's that's not quite the same but anyway so it's going to be about there so if that's it halfway down the page then you know it's pretty much going to fit. Let's do that and then the weight is on that leg so we take it down like that, that leg goes off like that, down. See that. Right. That's it. So that's how many seconds, I don't know, you know, 20 seconds, something like that, to make a drawing that now essentially is what what is happening there. And then once you've got to this stage, you can start to enliven it. So we now need to, to get some uh, volume to the thing. So if we start to look at, at, at the legs, you know, the thigh there, that, and turn that into a, a tube like that, and another one comes down like that, and away we go. I'm so professional. <laughs> See, so I mean, how simple is that? You, yeah. you know, you're starting now to get. So the body's got volume as well, and that you know. So and then there's a rib cage which goes in there, and that comes up like that. The centre of the body comes down somewhere like that, and all of these marks start to make a human figure. The neck, which we talked about, really important. This muscle. Anybody know what that's called? hugely important and then that block goes up like that so the head is now resting on that neck and then a little bit of anatomy is good you know if you even if you feel the way your own body goes to see what what happens and um, where they go there's there's a really important muscle that is here that's called the sartorium and it comes across like that right across it's the longest muscle in the body and then the thigh comes in like that, and you get that, you see that double mm -hmm. thing that goes on there? Mm -hmm. So you start to get that, and the thigh comes around like that. And the shoulder comes down. Up here, we've got that, this muscle here. And that's kind of a triangle that comes down like that, and the arms. So we're just starting to build a body out of these very simple, that's where its volume is, comes up like that, and the hand finishing up there. And that's in shadow. And then you can start to build up, you know, the, I mean, if, if you think about how the sternum comes down here, then all of these muscles attach there, that goes underneath there, and that's the deltoid. Sternum muscles start to work there. This 
needs to come in a little bit more. Oh, oh you've done that in five minutes, and in an hour and a half we might be still on. Yeah. <laughs> So it just makes life so simple, doesn't it? You know, yeah, if you've got this armature to build it on, yeah. and you think about how the body works, yeah. then you, you then you can you can build a drawing from it. If you don't know how it works, if you don't know where the weight is and what he's doing, you're, right, yeah. you're never going to get it. Mm. But the thing is that when you're at the stage of drawing that in, as you did in the first place, if you think, well, that leg's not long enough, or mm. it, it, you can move it, you can put it there. Or you could have it going straight out if you wanted to, but it's so simple at that point mm. to decide that I've got it wrong, I'll, I'll move it. These lines are, they're still describing what's going on. That's, you know, that's that massive thing, the ribcage, that kind of curves out there and then the, the, the stomach muscles start to work in here. You know, so what happens there? The eyes are on that plane and the side of the face is on that plane. Yeah? Mm. And then that comes over the top. The whole of that leg is pretty dark. And well, it's a bit, a bit camp, isn't it? <laughs> Same bit before. But anyway, uh, I don't want to go on about it too long. It's a really quick way of getting the figure sorted out in your head before you start. You know, I mean, I think mm. I'll probably make the legs longer, actually. So, you know, but get, that's, that's easy. So I can take the feet down to there. And that foot mm. just kind of comes there, big toes there. You know, and that one, so that one would have to come down a little bit more. Yeah. And then to make that a sort of, if you wanted to make that a, an attractive drawing at yeah. the end, do you just go on or start yeah. again, or we just go on top, or you don't rub out, you just no. do darken and do it with something darker. See, I mean, top. you get to the point yeah. where the, all of the then initial stuff is, uh, right, is in your yeah. head. Yeah. You know, I mean, I wouldn't do that because yeah. it's in my head. I think about what the body's doing, what the basic structure of it is, mm. and I've already got that, so mm. I don't need to draw it. And that's that, when yeah. drawing starts to look like magic, mm. you know, because you can just snap it onto, onto there and it, and it works. Mm. But initially, it's, it's best just to yeah. put the armature there. Yeah. Start to make this into a drawing and shade it. Give all it all of the rest of the stuff starts to disappear and you look at the, at the marks that are important yeah. to, make it, to make it work. Uh, I'm quite dark on there. Uh, Ray's got a pair of sunglasses on, which um, the original David did not wear Ray-Bans. <laughs> I think this was a mistake on Michelangelo's part. Had he had he thought about it before he started carving it away, but before I thought, oh, no. <laughs> Italy, Italy, mm -hmm. how much better it would have been, wouldn't it, yeah. if he'd been wearing a pair? We've got some ray bands on him now. Wayfarers, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, that's, how cool is that? <laughs> and there would have been a cornetto in the same <laughs> What do you think he's doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the cornetto. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there something about a, a piece of marble that Donatello had turned down? Yeah. And Michelangelo had to distort it. Block. It's nearly four metres tall. Yes. Very narrow. So what do you do with arm? That oh. they're like that. Couldn't mm. the constricted balance and volume and the roundness of it. That's pretty cool actually. <laughs> <laughs> David. Crack it drawing. I'm like, you do a drawing you and I don't know if there's any chance of getting outside today. Drawing and bring it back in, painting from that. Figure drawing this morning, maybe put some of this into practice quickly. And uh, I mean that is a joke. No need to draw a face. Good though. Yeah. If you want to adopt a pose, mm -hmm. contraposto, <laughs> I won't mind. And you don't yeah. have to take your clothes off. Well, you can if you want. Oh, no! <laughs> muscles, muscles, muscles. You've got clothes, to... You see how a body works. So you need to think about the body underneath. See who's mm. got the best muscles. Um, leotards. Wetsuits. <laughs> well, I think that's well, another class. Wearing well, leotards. <laughs> yeah, here we got some that's <laughs> evening classes. I, I, I can't wait. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> My pants. Was it your pants? All right, okay. So, <laughs> <two glass cake. laughs> okay. Maybe well, a younger class. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, what are we doing in Scarborough? Well, I'm in the process of preparing a canvas 
and uh, it's going to be a picture of Scarborough, I think. Um, at least that's how it's going to start out, but we'll see where it gets to. And in the meantime, enjoy Scarborough. We're going to have a look around the Grand Hotel. Mm -hmm.